able to get another one. Wow, so precise off the windows, but not precise in the parkour. They're gonna lose that one. Polly will pick up a kill. Not gonna really have anything to do with the drone, but oh, the G36C is coming alive for Team Liquid. Rambe now going to be try to make another play work out here for Direwolves. Finally get them on the board in this defensive end, but resets once more. Strikes down another one of his teammates. Harambe himself now down for the count. Jackie Wu, all that remains here inside of the 1VX. He's not going to be long for this world either. It's the flawless start from Team Liquid. So full control pretty much of the kitchen and trophy side. Already guaranteed oh? for the players on Team Liquid, but it's Jackie Wu with the wild hop out over here and the wild run to try and get back inside. The barricade's not even gone yet. Leaves the window open for a trade by Lagonis. Entire library wall is reinforced, doesn't have any angles to worry about. Has a player on the window. Oh, but they haven't checked inside of library. They didn't check the little hidey hole where everybody hides. Really? They won't have a choice. They'll have to go for this now with the next few seconds. Flash dumps are in. That is going to prompt the repositioning, but one of the walls is soft, so it's an easy wraparound force loop play to take the next fight. There we go. Down to the ground to make it happen instead. And the repeat. Three kills is not out of the equation, but Palu, he's going to make a comeback here. Picks up that one and the another exchange against Harambe as well. Into the 2v2, though. Where's that plant? We just don't see it. And as a result, Direwolves end up winning it on the timer. Just trying to hold down this top floor, but this also makes it to where Liquid can kind of just harass this. Nice. Ask with the beautiful read here that drone hole been the bane of everyone's existence. Palu is going to take down Jackie Wu and Nesk opens up the door. Harambe, the last remaining soul, and he knows exactly where he is. Pistol out. Oh, and he's running. He's hiding. I don't think that Nesk saw him oh. in the corner of his vision. The aspect ratio, not in Nesk's favor, but it doesn't matter. Wolves, Wolves actually has a win under their belt, and they're negative 11 as well. So always pretty close quarters when it comes to these squads, but this is looking like potentially <laughs> best chance for Dire Wolves. Pecan. There's still a couple around. Pecan, oh, ill-advised there. Nesk, so fantastic in that position. Just makes Pecan think that he's coming. Waste the entire magazine, the MX4 Storm starts spraying wide, but Dire Wolves, they fire back quickly. And that's a souffle effect. Coming in from Liquid here. Lagonis gonna be able to get the pickup on the bomb chassis. Palu, it'll dislodge a couple of key members. Very nice shot from Lagonis on the entry for his own plant. Palu will wrap it up with a nice bow. Now it's definitely hearing that phone buzzing out in the distance here. Ready to take the fight. Doesn't have the headshot angle initially. Tries to go for the exchange. The problem is he's created a two-way window for his opponent as well. Can't win it out. Resets will take down another member of the Direwolf squad. And Direwolves, however, will trade out not only Pecan's kill, but one on top of that one. So they're still in charge of this one. Down to a 4v3, but Pecan still in the hot seat here. Might be finding a way out of it, though. He's got a winning angle against this player from down below, but he also needs to try and find a way to escape. If he can get this down to 45 seconds, potentially nice. another kill, I mean... Hey, either way, it works out yep. for them. Dying moments here. They got to get a plant down. Stuns up. Smokes up for resets. Nitro cell underneath from Harambe, but do they know where the plant's going down? Oh, it's going to be a prediction. Lagonis might get this, but he has to kill two on two different angles. Impossible. Phone call will go out, though. More than likely give that intel over to the players on Liquid that he is playing into that position. Right. With the messy spray here, can't lock in the kill, but the same is true for resets. Potential for them to swap each other out as well, but Palu able to get the finisher off on to peek, and Jackie Wu, though, with the cross, finds resets on the way into office. So oh, Liquid, a little user. spread thin right now, and they're going to be punished because of it. Reload. Three different entry points, two different deaths. Nesco will get one under his belt, but how far does this go? Certainly still winnable for a player of his caliber, but it is going to be tough when you consider these angles. There's the first one. Immediately, though, the trade does come in. They seem to have every bit of intel they need. They just don't have the confidence to go for the execute yet. And we're seeing the results of that unfold before our eyes here. Pecan and one other member of Dire Rules have been able to find out trades. But aside from that, it's Team Liquid advantage situation. Pecan, though, once again, maybe the savior here. Going to have to go for the ace to clutch it back out. No case control either. So a very awkward situation for him. Runs directly into Palu's angle as well. So Liquid will seal the deal. They're being very smart about this one. Liquid is, in my opinion, too. Because they're not entirely playing it passively. Big jump out there, but Ask already far too low, so it's an easy trade for Jackie Wu before he makes it back to the window. You can see the back to my point. Members of Liquid are not like full committing to these window fights. Okay, never mind. They are now. Palu goes for the big swing here. Another exchange against Jackie Wu and the rest of the team, but Harambe picks up the next one here. Lagonis to immediately refire back. However, he's not ready for the jump in from Jackie. Down into a 2v2 now. Here's the phone calls, but is it going to be the proper info? Perfect here for Pekin. 
Has to know that one's behind that. Big pickup here for Nesk. Impossible to read it. Knew it was coming from Library, but even for Pekin, impossible. You do not want to allow three rounds here from Team Liquid. Three rounds in a row, especially. They'll be able to get wine open. Palu with a big kill, but Ray C will immediately refrag. You know, Palu will be on the rotation here. They quickly have to dispatch or get this plant down. Palu moving in on the flank. Where is the overwatch here? Where is the oversight? Harambe baits in one. Lagonis, does he have any more smokes in his pocket? Zero, but he does have a shotgun. Pressures, gets one, gets the second. Lagonis clutches it up. He's just waiting for the drop onto the balcony. Yep, and there it is. Almost gets a transfer. Dire Wolves and Liquid, some way, somehow, always able to stay dead even a, going into the last 30 seconds. That's a rough call there, too. If that was just a default, potentially could have been avoided if that's what prompted it from Liquid. Oh, Nask with the nice. spray. Oh. It's dirty, though. He's not able to get it, but the Nitro follow-up does. Drops the case down to the ground as well. Pecan going down next, leaving only Souffle in the fight. Recovered the case. His opponents will be aware of that. The GH is already out. Liquid shuts it down, and map one is theirs at a 7-3 scoreline like pins towards that cafe door. Do not want him running out, although that would have been the most oh. ill-advised thing. Harambe will pick up Palu as he tries to hop out. Could have potentially been somewhere else, too, as it has been a while since we checked oh. in with him. Reset's gonna get hopped out on there. As he once again goes down. Trades are going all over the place right now as Liquid tries to recompose themselves in this situation. Ask finding the most recent one. Him and Lagonis, all that remains, but Jackie Wu gets the shutdown on him before he can rotate into a safer position. Lagonis downstairs is all that remains. They know where he is. He's got to get a kill. He's got to get something here. Otherwise, the rest of the team's going to show up. He finally gets one, but it's too little too late, John. Got a player down low, hopping inside of stalls. Nesk with a nice shot onto Pekin, and they're just going to back off of this. It's a four versus two. They get those picks on the top floor, just reel it back. Don't really have to do all that much. The aggressive peaks might get you in trouble, just like it did for Nesk. Team Liquid does not want to give over yet another round that was firmly in their grasp for moments. Over to Dire Wolves. A nice shot there from Resets. Fantastic off the information. They know Souffle's got to be around the smoke here. Some nice shots from him. He'll get one. He'll get two. No way, Souffle. Please slow it down. Lagonis is going to hide for dear life. Jackie. He's gonna give zero respect to the Team Liquid hold here because of the fact that he's on that Mozzie, but oh no, look at Liquid here. Oh, wait a second, Jackie with the hot drop, picking up at least one trade on the ask. Team Liquid will still end up on the top of the heap though, past that interaction. Palu taking quite a bit of damage, but the well aware he's in Gong. Nice flick there from Pekin. Reset's gonna try to make one for him, so he's gotta be careful. His teammates is a little bit beyond that one. Thankfully in the connector though, not gonna have to worry about it. Lagone is cleaning things up, but his teammates need to regroup with him as Souffle. Thankfully now, the only player left standing for the DW roster. No case control either. Time about to run up DW, just a little bit too slow there. They're just going simply by their eyes and ears. Movement of Team Liquid and the damage really starting to pour in. Some nice kills here from Liquid as they'll drop not only Jackie Wu, but practically the entire squad. Ray C and Souffle sent reeling. Souffle already dead. And ask, yeah, that's that's basically it. Liquid up, putting Dire Wolves right in. There we are. Center tray on that one there. So we're gonna leave any Oh, room. what a flick. Oh, nice this is really how my ranked games look, seriously. <laughs> I'm not even lying. Ray, trying to put up some numbers on the board here. It's close to another one against the resets there, but can't find his head as quickly as he would like to. So still a definitive round for Team Liquid. I'm just so disappointed that they can't make anything out of this Monty and they keep going back to it. I mean, if he dies, sure, but at least get the kill out of it. No, they don't even know what's going on inside of initiation, and we have Pekin just walking into waiting, the crouch walk special. But why? It's round five. I mean, it's going to be the last round yeah. of this half. That's kind of pointless, to be honest with you. Might just, they might just need to give their players a break in all honesty more than anything. Might not even be for strat reasons. Liquid's, yeah, moving along swimmingly right now. No issues at all showing up for them. Oh, my. Early oh. Rome is finding oh. impact, man. That should have been a guaranteed trade for Ask. Made the wrong entry point, basically. There, I got so. caught peeking. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's... It looks like they are doing their best to try and snap this shut. Ask. Fantastic position here from him is he will take down Souffle. Nobody's on drones in order to really assist. And the craziest thing is Direwolf still has six of them. But instead, they're trying to take the fight to Team Liquid. They're not trying to do siege things. Navigate back over to the site. He's bitten off far too much for this scenario, though. 
Constant info drip coming in, of course, from Lagonis there, so all that much easier. Liquid are doing such a good job of playing around Lagonis. This would be a great strat if they didn't have a Monte, basically, as yeah. I'm reading this right now. Ask with two more pickups as well, as he's able to, actually, I'm pretty sure, get into the he's site planting. as a result of that aggressive I can't swing for the Direwolves players. Yep, they've now been boxed out of the site entirely. Souffle with at least a partial wrap back into it. Picks up the trade on to Ask, stops his rampage on this round. But as Stokes had mentioned, the case now well down onto the ground. Harambe trying his best once more. This is the same situation that we had before, though. Ness with the swing. The playoff contention here between this match and one they may still potentially have tomorrow. Nesk, a nice immediate steal. The drone acting as a distraction. Oh, looks away at the wrong one, but his opponent apparently not ready for that fight either. Souffle, and now Harambe picking up exchanges elsewhere on the map. Harambe will be caught by Palu, trying to relocate. More than likely, he didn't consider that would actually be a possibility. Souffle's been discovered inside of Gong. Reposition himself. Palu does have the drones. Nesk is going to drop in. He knows he's in this space. It's going to be all up to the challenge. Nice shots onto Souffle! With the headshot goes wide. Two versus three. Team Liquid, Palu. Moving in behind. Souffle with a big pickup. Palu, so many rounds inside of this PDW when it comes down to it. Somehow, you still feel like it's manageable for him, but Souffle with fantastic moves. But now his team getting picked to pieces on the opposite end of the map. Finally, some kills coming under their belt. It's going to be a three versus three. Ask doesn't have the ability to clear out this gate, though. He's going to have to try and eat the damage if he wants it. Two players trying to fight him. Harambe will trade it out into a two versus two. Lagona is still up on the shield. EMP's in pocket, but not going to be necessary as there is no hard breach in play. Could try and use those in a cheeky way to disable uh, Pekin's abilities, but don't really have to try and go for something like that. When you have somebody like Palu, my god. He'll shut him down. Team Liquid get it done on the offensive side. It's a 7-2 theme park, but there was no fun in games from Liquid.